my channel. Today I'm really actually excited I sung that for y'all because this is a very highly requested video. I have been bullied by y'all to create this and I'm so excited that we're getting into this today. We are going to be talking all about bond builders. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I have always used the Olaplex number no. 3 Hair Perfector, which is a bond builder. Recently, Curlsmith came out with their own bond builder. So this is like literally the only other bond builder that I've actually heard of that's on the market. So it's only right that we do a little comparison. We're gonna get into the two. I'm gonna use both of them today and we're really going to get a really close look and see like what the differences are. We're gonna compare, contrast, and I'm gonna give y'all all the tea. Let's get into it. All right, so these two are gonna be the star of the show today. These are our two bond builders. So what the heck is a bond builder first and foremost? I'm gonna break it down really simple, make it super, super easy to understand. Basically, our hair strands are made up of hair bonds. And some of them are strong, some of them are weak. When you have a lot of weak hair bonds, that is what we call damaged hair. Things like coloring your hair, using bleach in your hair, or straightening your hair with a flat iron, getting that heat damage, all of those kind of things weaken your hair bonds over time. So basically what a bond builder is gonna do is strengthen them back up and actually like repair your hair from the inside out. So that's it, super easy, that's that's all it does. It builds back your bonds up, makes them strong, it just gives you really nice, happy and healthy hair. I just, I love me a good bond builder. And so the one that I have been obsessed with, y'all know me, if you're an OG on this channel, you've heard me talk about this like 100 times, so you already knew. I know for a fact that this is the reason why my hair is still flourishing, it's still thriving, and still like nice and happy and healthy after getting highlights. So I was super hyped when I saw that Curlsmith was coming out with their own bond builder. So this is called their Bond Curl Rehab South. And the interesting thing is this actually has a little bit of protein in here as well. So a bond builder, although it like repairs the bonds, it kind of sounds like it's a protein treatment, but it's not. They're completely two separate things. But basically what Curlsmith has done here is actually kind of created a little bit of a hybrid. So this is the bond builder with protein inside. So it's like double repair. I'm like, I'm really excited. So let's get into comparing these. So bond builders actually work as like a pre-shampoo treatment. So on your wash day, this will actually be the very first thing that you do. So let's take out this crazy mess and get this party started. I am working with day five or six hair, which is a little bit longer than I normally go. I usually wash again around day four, so this is definitely due for a nice wash. I mean, the curls are still popping. It doesn't look too bad, but my hair is definitely, it definitely needs a, a good wash. I'm due for a trim right now. I think I'm right at about six months since my last trim. Basically, my hair is struggling, so I really could use some Bond Builder action to make sure that my hair is still staying nice and healthy until I'm able to get my trim. So to start, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wet my entire head of hair and then squeeze out the excess water so we are left with really damp hair. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this. All right, so here we are, super damp hair. And basically what I'm gonna do is just use my fingers to just section out my hair into two halves. I'm actually so excited to dig into this and see what it's all about. For, off the bat, I'm like really happy with the packaging. I love how much bigger it is. For years of me using the Olaplex bottle, I'm like, can y'all please come out with a bigger bottle? I used to be able to get a little bit more out of my Olaplex, but now that my hair is obviously longer, I need a lot more product, and so it's like, one, maybe one and a half applications per bottle. So very happy to see larger packaging. I will get into like actual size difference and cost between the two bottles towards the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that so you can get like all the deets on that. Ooh, the smell is literally so good. So this has pressed chia seeds, shiitake mushrooms, prickly pear pulp, pumpkin seed oil, and guava and kale. I feel like I can smell the guava. Oh, it literally smells so good. The Olaplex smells really good as well, so I will say I enjoy both scents. So, so far the consistency is fairly similar to the Olaplex. It's goopy <laughs> is the best way that I can describe it. <sighs> I just love the smell. Both of them are actually very fragrant, I noticed. I don't know if that is a Bond Builder thing, I guess. It seems like it, because they're literally both so sweet. Um, but I do love the fragrance. It just smells really, really nice. 
So I am just using my fingers to slowly like detangle my hair as I comb this through. You wanna make sure that with any product you're using actually, to just make sure that you're actually combing it through your curls. You don't wanna just meh, go on top of a bunch of knots like it's not gonna get to every single strand. So by taking the time to section it out and really comb the product through is how you're really going to get the best results because the product will be able to hit every single hair strand. This actually has a really great amount of slip to it. Do y'all see this? We're gliding right through. The knots are completely gone. My curls actually feel really, really juicy. Curls are even defining a little bit. This feels so good. I am actually gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of extra product. I like to apply a little bit of extra product directly to my ends. This is the oldest part of your hair, so you just wanna make sure you're giving it a little bit of extra love. So back in the day when my hair was a lot shorter, easier to manage, a lot less knotted, I would use a bond builder every single time I wash my hair. But nowadays, I do use it less often. Let's just chalk it up to laziness, honestly, okay? <laughs> Having to go through this extra step while it's really, really great for your hair, it's also a lot of effort. So it's just, I don't use them as often, but I will say whenever I do use a bond builder, I notice a difference in my curls. They pop more, they just look and feel happier and healthier, like you can actually see the difference. And as you continue to use them on a more consistent basis, even though it's not as frequent, you will still be able to notice is you are having more and more really good wash days. This is saturated, but I don't feel like I used a crazy amount of product either. So a little bit seems to kind of go a long way with the Curlsmith Bond Curl. I am also making sure that I am applying product to my edges as well. You do not want to neglect any bit of your hair when you are using a bond builder. Get it everywhere and especially in the areas where you have issues. So if you have a lot of breakage in your edges, you want to make sure that you are putting a lot of bond builder here to try and repair and strengthen that area. So I'm literally being super anal with this, as I always am with my bond builders, to make sure that everywhere is getting repaired, okay? All right, so bond curl side done. Let me go ahead and just quickly fly through doing Olaplex on this side. All right, Olaplex side is done, just twisting it out. See, it's kind of doing the same kind of thing as the other side, so we know it's nice and saturated. So, so far so good, no real differences to report. They actually feel very, very similar in consistency, in amount of slip, in the way that it just makes my curls pop. It just feels really good, really nice, really juicy in the curls. Even the way they smell is kind of similar in a way. They both just have a really nice sweet smell. So I really don't have any differences to report yet. I'm really, really curious and excited to kind of see like what our final results are gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this 15 minutes to kind of soak into the hair and then we'll get into the rest of our wash day. All right, so here we are. Here is how we're looking. This is the Olaplex side and this is the Bond Curl side. Now it's time to get into the rest of our wash day routine. So like I said, Bond Builders, you can just see them as your pre-shampoo kind of thing. So now I'm gonna go in, cleanse, deep condition and style. We'll zoom through this part really quickly. You guys have seen me do this 100 times and really the main star of the show is the Bond Builders. Today I'm doing a full Curlsmith wash. So first I'm going in with the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo. Really kind of just mainly focusing this on my scalp, giving my scalp a really nice massage. My scalp has really been appreciating my week on, week off shampoo routine. Next I'm going in with the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher. This is an intense moisturizing deep conditioner that I absolutely absolutely love, like it gives you ultimate insane moisture, the juice. After just about 10 minutes of letting this sit in my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out, and then we're gonna get into styling. So I'm actually really excited to try two new Curlsmith products today. I'll be using the Feather Light Protein Cream and the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. These two products are actually protein rich, and they were launched alongside the Bond Curl. Y'all know I love me a really good foam, so I'm really excited to see how this works with my hair. I am also gonna be using the In Shower Style Fixer Gel on top of those two products for a little bit of additional hold. All right, so here is how we're looking so far. My hair in general just looks really nice. It feels really nice. As usual with Curl Smith, I mean, y'all already know. They won brand of the year last year for me for my Golden List Awards, okay? So, so yeah, really didn't expect anything less. So 
This is where we're at right now. Again, still not seeing a major difference in between the two sides. You'll be able to see a little bit more of a difference if there is one once my hair is actually dry. So I'm gonna go ahead, air dry, maybe do a little bit of diffusing to speed it up a little bit, and then I will meet you guys back for the final results and to really do like an in-depth comparison between the two, and I'll give you all my final thoughts as well. All right, so we're back. My hair is fully dry, and now first of all, let's just talk about how this wash and go came out. It's beautiful, I absolutely love it. I think my curls are popping. There is insane curl definition and a very minimal amount of frizz, if any. Honestly, I'm not really seeing any at all, to be honest, on either side. So I think overall, amazing wash and go, I'm loving it. Now the one thing that I wanted to mention was about the styling products. I feel like, like my hair looks really great and the curl definition is obviously there, but I feel like it's not as moisturized as it could be. So that kind of makes me feel like maybe I went a little bit overboard with the protein today. So going forward, I will still be using these products, absolutely love them, but not on the same wash as when I use the Bond Curl. For reference, I do have medium porosity hair. Sometimes it can go to the low side. Sometimes it can go to the high side. Honestly, it has characteristics of both, which is why I have come to the decision that I am just medium porosity. So not protein sensitive or anything, but I still have to make sure that, you know, I'm equally using protein as much as I'm using moisture to make sure that I'm just maintaining the right balance. Now, time to compare these. So. As I said, when I'm looking on the two sides of my hair, I mean, you guys can see right now, I don't see any crazy differences at all. So I honestly can't tell you that, okay, one clearly made a bigger difference than the other in terms of just looking at my hair but we got some further comparisons to do. So first I wanna talk about price and packaging. Like how much bang are you actually getting for your buck? I think just by looking at the screen you might be able to tell. Curlsmith is definitely gonna give you a lot more bang for your buck. Now let me give you the numbers to prove it. So the Bond Curl retails for $28 and you're getting 237 milliliters worth of product. On the other hand, for Olaplex, which retails for $28, you're only getting 100 milliliters worth of product. When you divide it down, Olaplex is giving you one milliliter worth of a Bond Builder product for 28 cents. On the other hand, with Curlsmith, you can get the same one milliliter worth of a Bond Builder product for only 12 cents. So clearly that is a very, very large difference, especially when you kind of add it up. So obviously already kind of off the bat, you're getting way more bang for your buck when it comes to the Curlsmith Bond Curl, which is great, but you wanna know how they take it even further. This is so like fully jam packed and so concentrated with products that you actually don't need to use it anywhere near as often as you need to use your Olaplex. So it's almost as if you're getting even more bang for your buck. So for Olaplex, it says you can use it one time a week. So that's basically what I used to do to maintain happy, healthy curls. For damaged hair, Olaplex actually suggests to use this two to three times per week in order to repair your hair and then at some point once your hair is nice and healthy you can then maintain the health of your hair by going back down to once a week so for the curlsmith bond curl you only have to use this every once in a while in fact it actually tells you not to use it every single wash so for medium porosity hair normal hair that doesn't scream too high porosity or too low porosity you're just supposed to use this every three to four washes and that's it. And for a majority of people, that's basically gonna look like roughly once a month. This is gonna give you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bang for your buck. And we all know that that's like massively important. And I'm honestly, truly impressed because again, I didn't notice any difference. I don't think that I had to compromise in order to use this brand new Bond Builder, you know? I, y'all know how much I love my Olaplex, right? But it's been years. I've been begging them, dying for a larger bottle. I don't know, it might be a little bit of a breakup with Olaplex because Curlsmith came in here being competitive. So yes, bottom line, I 10 out of 10 recommend the Bond Curl. You just get more bang for your buck and you don't have to stress about using it as often as you would with this. So there we have it. I'm definitely gonna keep y'all updated as I continue to use this because 
As I use it more on a frequent basis, I'll be able to tell you if I feel like I'm lacking something from not using the hair perfecter. So yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well because I always update y'all every day on stories there. So that's about it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. That way you will never miss a new video ever again. We don't want that to happen, okay? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!